Hey everyone, it's April, Finding NorCal. Today we're going to check out the historic Bidwell Bridge. Um, it was moved because they filled up the lake and drowned the town. So we're going to check it out. They moved this whole thing over here to the Bidwell Marina so we can still check it out today. So let's go find it. So we have the toll house. They used to collect your money to go over this bridge. Ferries were kind of a pain in the ass, so they built this bridge. Check it out. This is not where it was originally. They moved it. It's a thousand feet long. Built in the town of Bidwell's Bar, where John Bidwell discovered gold in 1848 right here above the boat launch at Bidwell Marina beautiful Lake Oroville on this side we have another marina another boat launch and it's just made out of wood most of it it is the first suspension bridge that was built west of the Mississippi so it was kind of a big deal all these materials that you're looking at on this giant bridge were brought over via Cape Horn from New York City by John Bidwell. So Bidwell's bar was kind of a big deal. There's a lot of mining towns down here in these little foothills and crevices and cracks and uh, they all got swallowed up by the lake when they built the dam. So thought this would be kind of a neat thing to check out. Not everyone knows it's here. By all means, should have been flooded out like everything else, but they decided to save it and make it into a historical landmark. I'm glad they did. So they had plenty of people using this bridge to get supplies back and forth over the Feather River back in the 1850s. They've made a nice little park out of this, too. So here we have the Civil Engineering Landmarks marker. Anyway, just thought we'd check it out here in beautiful Orville, Lake Orville, the Bidwell Bar Suspension Bridge. This here, piece of the suspension iron says Starbucks Ironworks Troy New York so yep it was from New York and all the stuff had to go in a boat they didn't have anything like that over here to build anything near the size back then here's the view looking back over it now we are looking, I think, west. I'm not positive, but I think we're going west now. So let's take a walk back over it again. Up above there you have Kelly Ridge. It's a community, residential community here in Oroville. We're looking out now towards Bloomer Peak above Lake Oroville. We just had a nasty fire up there a few months ago. Not looking as green as it used to. We're going to go down and get a picture of the underbelly, too.
They actually brought the toll house with it too when they moved it, which I think is kind of cool. I don't know how they moved this thing. It's all stones and bricks, but they did. Saved it. Super old timey. Has all kinds of metal steel doors, looks like. Heavy duty. Cute. And I think most places had this boardwalk back in the old days. Alright, let's take a walk down here and check out the underneath. Um, I've been out here before and I've seen them doing Civil War reenactments. It's kind of cool. Get rid of the sun. Not much really going on under here, but it is pretty cool. They moved it out here. <laughs> 